so hello and welcome friends to our channel intro mech and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts so we are starting a new series and we are trying to use solidworks as a tool now solidworks is a tool which is widely used in mechanical industry for say 3d modeling and also we have a option of simulation in the solidworks so we will try to use this simulation the basic simulation and i will try to make you understand some basic concepts and what are their applications so how we are using these things while designing some objects so today's topic is based on beams and the importance of section modulus so without wasting time let's get now we all have learned about the section modulus say in our engineering so what is the section modulus so the section modulus is basically the ratio of moment of inertia of any section about its neutral axis uh, to the distance of its outermost layer from the neutral axis so how mathematically we can define it so it is generated by z is equal to i by y max so i is basically the moment of inertia of the section of the particular section and y max is the distance uh, the distance of outermost layer from the neutral axis now we know that the bending stress equation is written as my i is equal to sigma max by y max now m is the moment which is coming on you say your section your beam so moment is equal to sigma max into i by y now i by y is nothing but my section model so here you could see if my moment is constant then what will happen if z increases my stress which is getting induced in the section will get reduced and vice versa if z reduces the stress will increase right now what is its application now here let's see we have a beam which is say rectangle in section so how we can apply this now i is given by 112th btq this is the formula you can search for it y max now this is the neutral axis so what will be the distance of outermost layer it will be d by 2 because this is the depth right so we get z as btq by 6 right so this is bar only the rectangular section now we have different kind of sections like c section t section channel section so how this z affect the strength or the stress which is getting induced in the body so this is our main topic so at the end you will understand that why a particular section is used while designing something say why we use c channels for say overhead crane section or why the c channel is widely used so all these questions will get answered at the end of the video so do watch the video until the end now see uh, what we have so this is our section uh, which we have designed in uh, solidworks so this is the SOLIDWORKS software so we will not deep dive much into uh, the software part so we have this uh, cantilever beam so cantilever section this is the rectangular section you could uh, see here right uh, so uh, this is the section here and uh, we have a cantilever condition right so it is fixed at this end right and it is free at this end so you could see it is the section now let's go to the simulation now what we have done here uh, we have fixed this surface right and we have applied force on this surface like 1000 Newton we have applied 1000 Newton force now let's see what results we get right now what we are doing we are having some uh, material now which we have used alloy steel we have used as a material so we will hit the run simulation and we will get the result so let's see what results we have got here so we have stress you could see the maximum stress and the maximum displacement which we are getting at uh, this point right 
so this is the cantilever section uh, you could see the maximum uh, deformation now what we have done here we have changed the section here you could see uh, we have changed the orientation of the section the overall dimensions are same but what we have done we have changed uh, the orientation of the section now let's see how it affects uh, the results so we are doing the same thing we have fixed the body uh, at this phase and we have applied the same amount of force like 1000 newton on the body so and the material is same right so let's run the simulation material we have kept same and let's check out the results over here so we can check the stress uh, levels got reduced and also the now let's see the what stress we have got here it was 1.95 into 10 to uh, e, into 10 to 7 and what we are getting in this like 5.68 into 10 to 6 so we have reduced the stress right and because of which the deflection has also got reduced now how this has happened we have just seen what is the section modulus so what we have done here we have this depth over here right and here we have the higher b over here and here we have higher depth so the d cube is more so the z is more and that's why the stress got reduced and the deflection also got reduced right now what is the practical application of this thing we have just studied this so now how i can apply this into actual practice right so that, that is the main aim like you are designing something and how you will utilize this knowledge so let's check out uh, with uh, one example right so uh, let's check one example so now uh, let's see we have a plate uh, over here and because of some forces it is getting deflected and we have to reduce the deflection of the plate so what we can do we can add some uh, ribs like this the rectangular cross section uh, to reduce the say deflection so here we have like these are our ribs that means the additional section we have added over here to reduce the deflection right now let's run the simulation and what we have in the second case the same dimensions of the ribs but we have changed the orientation right what we have done we have changed the orientation of the rib now let's check out how it affects right so these are the ribs right now let's check out for the simulations so what we have got here what we have done here we have fixed the bottom uh, parts uh, bottom face right and then we have applied a force of 1000 newton over here on this face you could see and we have run the simulation the same thing we have done in this case also right so let's check out we have fixed the bottom surface we have applied a force of 1000 newton over here now let's check out the results now what is the stress level here you could see 7.57 into uh, e uh, 10 raised to minus 0.4 that is the deflection right and how much deflection we are getting here uh, 7.32 into 10 raised to minus 4 so the deflection has reduced you could see in the first case it was like 7.54 and here the deflection is 7.32 right so the deflection has reduced and the deflection why the deflection has reduced we have seen right so this is how the section uh, the orientation of section affects your design right so 
you can utilize whatever you have learned like your engineering into the practical things like this so the main purpose of this series is to make you understand that how you can utilize your engineering knowledge and how you can apply those things into the designing right so i hope you liked the video and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then stay home stay happy thank you for the patient listening thank you Thank you.